Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning into our session Get Cracking with Content Hub. We are super excited to have you here with us today. The main goal of this session is to help you in embracing Content Hub by addressing top most concerns and questions that usually come to mind. Before we get started and jump deep into the world of Content Hub, a quick word about us. This is Deepthi Katta. I currently work as senior technical architect at Wonder. As part of my role, I lead cross-functional teams in building awesome web experiences for different set of clients. I have about eight plus years of working with Sitecore in some way, shape, or form. I have also been Sitecore MVP for past three years and privileged to be part of the Elite Group. And I live in Hollywood. Richard, do you want to introduce yourself? Thanks, Deepthi. Well, first of all, thank you for coming to this session or watching this session online, I should say. My name is Richard Leva, and I'm very honored to be part of the MVP community. I've been working with this awesome platform for the past six years. I'm the co-organizer of the Psycho User Group Ecuador, and I'm currently an Associate Technical Architect at Braindale. Thanks, Richard. So let's get started. Here's a quick sneak peek of what our session entails. We're gonna start off by affirming that your dazzle for Content Hub is apt and expected. Next, we'll try and address most prominent questions and concerns that come to mind when the goal is to pursue Content Hub. We are hoping that by the end of this session, you would be able to take the next immediate leap with a greater confidence. Yes, you made the right choice. It doesn't really matter how and where you heard about Content Hub, but we are sure when you did, you were as thrilled and excited as us. We want to reiterate that your feeling towards Content Hub is expected because Content Hub is an awesome platform encompassing everything you ever would need to make your content and your process in crafting it a seamless and effective one. Now let's see in a nutshell why we said what we just said. Here you see the overall depiction of where Content Hub sits on bigger scheme of things. As you can see, Content Hub is more than a dam for your valuable assets. It provides an end-to-end -end solution that will help your teams to plan, create, deliver, and optimize on all sorts of content. Alongside of asset management, your team will also get various other tools to hone the process, such as PCM, CMP, MRM, and Web2Print. Now let's understand very briefly what these tools are. Let's start with PCM, also known as Product Content Management. With Content Hub, you can create single source of truth for all your product information. Aggregate all the product assets in one place. Content Hub supports multiple brands, families, hierarchies, and localization. This way, you will never miss a beat to store any sort of product information on Content Hub. Next up is CMP also known as content marketing platform. Use this one to plan, create, and distribute marketing content. You can find gaps, assign tasks, collaborate, and approve the content assets to be used elsewhere in your enterprise architecture. Now going to MRM, also known as marketing resource management. This feature helps your marketing project teams stay on track and deliver on time with project management tools. This will enable you and your team to allocate resources, develop campaigns, briefs, and blueprints. Last but not the least is web to print You can create brand compliant collateral for print. Reference existing data by building new templates for various of your brands, products, and needs. These templates ensure consistency, also reduce error, and provide ability to scale as your brand grows. Now, with all these tools that Content Hub provides, you can solve your content crisis. We understand the definition of content crisis differs from one organization to another. But no matter where your crisis is, Content Hub is equipped with tools to help your special case. Content Hub also strives to help you rewire your whole content creation process 
through various pieces of functionalities that we just went over and beyond. Using Content Hub's features, your teams can save time, be more efficient, get to goals faster in a safe, secure, and consistent manner. Now, seeing that we all said and hearing to what we just talked about on all the features, we'll try and do a little mind reading effort. We are pretty sure after you heard what you just heard, you must, you must think that it all sounds fantastic, but we know and understand that there's always gonna be a few buts when you hear great stories and features. Now let's try to address that noise in your head and see what we make you feel. Starting up first, but most important one, migration. Richard, take it away. Thank you, Devti. So we all know how awesome Content Hub is, but you might be wondering, how can I migrate my existing assets from another source? It might be the Sitecore Media Library or any other platform containing your valuable assets. So let's now look at some options we have. Before we actually start moving assets around, we need to analyze our assets and how they will be used inside Content Hub. We don't want to lose any data while the migration is taking place. So it's very important that before we start with the actual migration, we create the correct schema for the different assets in our Content Hub instance. This also means that we will need to create properties for our custom metadata and add taxonomies or option lists as needed. This can all be done from the Content Hub dashboard. Once our assets schema looks good, we can start with the migration and for that we have some options. If it's a simple set of assets which are publicly available, we can import them using links. We have another option which is to create Excel sheets and we can also leverage Content Hub's REST API and Web Client SDK. This means we can build a custom app or, Azure, or use Azure functions to seamlessly migrate our assets. Here you can see two screenshots of the upload files and import links screen. On the left side, you can easily drag and drop files or browse through your local file system to add assets to your Content Hub instance. We can also upload zip files and Content Hub will take care of the import. On the right side of the screenshot, you can see the import links screen, which lets you add public URLs that Content Hub will hit to download the desired asset. These two are pretty simple migration mechanisms, but they won't be enough if we are talking about thousands of assets with, with custom properties. So let's look at, at another option. Import from Excel. This is a very powerful feature provided by Content Hub we can create spreadsheets that will allow us to add the assets we need to Content Hub. This spreadsheet needs to follow some standards. The first row of each column needs to hold the name of the property we are migrating. And there are four mandatory properties that every sp spreadsheet will need. These columns are file, title, final lifecycle status to asset, and content repository to asset. The file column holds the public URL of the asset. If the link is not public, the system will not be able to find it. The title column, which would typically correspond to the file name. The final life cycle status to asset column will determine in which state of the approval workflow the asset will be uploaded. So some of the options are created, under review, approved, and archived. Remember, these values will need to match the values stated in Content Hub. And the last mandatory column is the content repository to asset, which will determine in which component the asset will be uploaded. The most important options are standard, which is for them, project, which is MRM, and portal. These are the four mandatory columns, we, but we can also have columns for our custom properties or other properties we might want to migrate. Once the Excel file is ready, we can upload that to Content Hub using the import wizard and several background jobs will get triggered to upload the assets to our Content Hub instance. Another option to migrate your data is to build a custom application or use Azure functions to leverage the power of the REST API or web client SDK provided by Content Hub. These are very powerful ways to import assets since you will get more flexibility. 
this is a more complex topic and there are some good examples that have been shared by the community. But if you want to have a deeper look at these options, a good place to start would be the official documentation, which is very complete and up to date. So we know Sidecore and Content Hub are great and they work great by themselves, but Sidecore and Content Hub work better together. So how can we use the assets in Content Hub inside our Sidecore instances? The answer is Sidecore Connect for Sidecore Dam. Sidecore Connect offers a very powerful way to seamlessly, seamlessly use your assets from Content Hub inside Sidecore. The installation is very easy. Just a Sidecore package upload and a couple of tweaks in the Content Hub dashboard and Sidecore config files. Once you have installed the connector, all the image fields will get a new button called Browse Sidecore Dam where you will be able to interact with the, your Content Hub instance. Also, in the Rich Text Editor, you will see a new button that will let you insert images from your Content Hub instance, which is what you are looking at in the slide. Thanks, Richard. Next up, very important topic in terms of how Content Hub can tailor your system needs. Content Hub is flexible enough to be configured to meet your system needs. We know and understand that every team and company has its own unique preferences, requirements, and needs. With Content Hub, you can define your own schema and taxonomy to ensure that the data on your assets makes sense and it is useful. For example, let's say every asset you plan to host on Content Hub ties back to your product in some way and you would like to have that defined on your asset because it's deemed important. You can absolutely do it by extending asset schema. Same goes with taxonomy needs as well. Create as many or as little taxonomies as you like and add values to the existing ones to match your data definition needs. Content Hub being at the heart and center of your asset management, you can configure media processing workflow to meet your downflow system needs that are part of your enterprise architecture. There are also various touch points throughout the various processes, workflows, and life cycle of an asset that are customizable to match your process and your way of doing things. Lastly, you can also customize the UI and pages that Content Hub comes with to tailor your user experience requirements and look and feel. So you can call them your own. Let's look at a little bit more detail on what I meant when I said that you can transform your media processing workflow to match your system, other system needs. This screenshot depicts area of administration in Content Hub, which shows you how you can customize exact media configurations and versions that your systems would need. Think of downflow usage of your assets to ensure any asset uploaded into the system is equipped with all versions that potentially could be used by various systems and, uh, and websites on your enterprise architecture. Let's take an example. For example, consider your product asset uploaded into Content Hub. You would then want a thumbnail image of specific dimensions to be utilized on a product listing page living somewhere in, your, in one of your websites. You may also want a different version of it be available in Sitecore for creating an uh, e email campaign or let's say a journey builder. You can absolutely cover both these use cases and beyond to create and create all the versions you need that you can leverage based on different needs. Now, even with all the bells and whistles provided, without an efficient search, any asset management would fall apart. As the assets grow, it will quickly become a nightmare to find what your team is after. Content Hub provides a powerful search that can be your friend. It will save time to ensure you always find what you're after with ability to leverage various facets, advanced filters, and tagging. Now let's look at it in action. On the left here, you can actually see all the facets that are configured and advanced search options. On the right, you can actually see how results can also be morphed into showing the detail that's important and hiding the ones that are not so important. 
you have complete control over what to show and what not to show on the search search page available on content hub so you can make it your own next up is very important piece on how content hub enables us to say no to manual labor richard do you want to take this away sure so we all know that no one not likes manual work content hub provides various various features that could help reduce the amount of manual work needed triggers and actions are very important we can set up very powerful actions to be executed at any point in time Let's say I would like to have the titles of my images be changed upon upload to follow certain standards. Well, we can simply build an action that would take care of this. Also, never miss an obvious tag to an asset by leveraging the cognitive services auto tagging feature. And also use collections to share and manage a subset of assets that almost always go together and share them across teams in your organization as needed. Here is a simple yet powerful example of what actions and triggers can do to hone information and assets that allow us to have more useful data for content teams. In this example right here, we are appending the life cycle status to the title of the asset so that we can easily see in which state of the workflow an asset, asset is currently in. An action is being executed that changes the title of an item when there is an update to the asset. Actions and triggers can also be leveraged for more business needed metadata honing as well. Let's say all assets needed need to have a special category that need to be pre-filled based on specific business rules. Then we can build actions and triggers to ensure that when the asset is uploaded, we have this information preloaded so that manual work is avoided. Content app can automatically add tags colors and descriptions to your assets using Microsoft Vision Services. This type of tagging can be set up so that when a specific type of asset is uploaded, the image analysis is automatically run. So you just enable this feature for the asset types you need. Then you could improve the search experience by fastening on the results of this image analysis. Content Hub lets you tweak the accuracy level of the auto tagging feature. Keep in mind that if this accuracy level is too high, the machine learning engine might not be able to tag some assets. You will be amazed by the cool results you get when you start playing with this feature. And some final words on collections. You can group assets in collections and you can have as many collections as you need. Collections are pretty useful when working across teams or when, wor when working with marketing campaigns. So you create the collection once, you share it with your team and they will have access to up-to-date assets in a very handy, handy way that will let them share, download, and play with, your, with the files you specified. And well, as John F. Kennedy said, change is the law of life and those who look only to the past or present are certain to miss the future. And the future is here. Don't pass on the great opportunity you have to embrace Content Hub. We really hope we could help clarify some doubts you had when you joined this session. We know Content Hub is a massive platform and we are sure you still have some questions. So ping us directly and we can chat, chat a bit more in depth. Thank you for attending and hopefully talk to you soon. Thank you everyone. I'm sure you enjoyed our session and you're enjoying your virtual symposium. Bye. Have a good one.